Hello everyone and welcome. Let's play Cataclysmo. I'm Crydax and today we're going to try out this tower defense mixed with a city builder game. I've also seen some reviews mention the word stronghold which is a beloved childhood game for me so let's see what it's all about. This is going to be a Let's Try series, and in contrast to a Let's Play, which is intended to beat the game or very f get very far, this series is just intended for us to try it out, share the first impressions, and explore the game together. Hopefully, it will leave you informed on whether or not you, too, would like to purchase the game and try it out, and the editing will be a bit lighter, as I want you guys to experience most of the gameplay with me. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. I have not played at all. We're going to start a new campaign and see what it's all about. I'll go with medium, and we'll do all the tutorials. And screen edge movement is fine for now. Keep in mind the campaign is still in development. This is an early access game. There will be a link to the Steam store page in the description. So, you've come to talk of Lady Iris. It's true, she has shared my fire from time to time. Sit down, rest. I still remember that day, outside Ogar. The day I met her, the Lady Iris herself. Vague. At home's edge, outskirts. Is that us? These blasted woods are so gloomy. Oh. Why did I volunteer for this? Why did I volunteer for this? Who am I? Move the camera around. All right, well, that's easy enough. Rotate the camera. Ta-da! Zoom the camera. Ta-da! All right, and that's all pretty basic. <clears throat> Overhead map view. Ooh, I like it. And then we can zoom back in somewhere. Okay. I'd better keep moving if I'm to deliver this message. Unit selection and movement. To move a unit, select it with LMB, use RMB to order it. A deploy mark will appear. You can also select a unit by selecting its deploy mark. Oh, okay, that's kind of nice. So you can tell it where to go, and then you can be like, hey, the guy that's going there goes somewhere else. I like it. Perhaps this way. Perhaps. Doing it. Where's the marked position? On it. Over there. Guess I'll let you pathfind. I like the art style of this game. It's kind of a cartoony, but the also mist. high definition. It could almost be beautiful. We're lucky to have masks. What did that say about the mist? I totally Cloudy missed that. <laughs> a horror. A horror. This creature. It might have once been. No, don't think about it. What? Your brother? It's just your mom. Now. Kill or be killed. I assume the mist is bad. Where, where did it talk about the mist? Did it say something about the mist in here? Hmm. It'd be nice if I could search the tutorials because it said something about mist and I don't know what it said. Economy. Probably not in the econ. Oh, mist fuel. Mist fuel is a volatile substance invented by the scholars. Build a mist condenser. Oh, okay. So I guess mist is useful. Interesting. Yes. Okay, deployed troops will automatically attack any horror in uh -huh. their range. Move closer and mm -hmm. see. Softly. Let me think about this. You can pause with space. You can also speed up time with F. Doing it. Deploy your archer to a good position. Well, how about that? You can shoot that thing from across the the way. Alright, well. That was easy. 
this trouble to find some scholar. On it. All right. A camp. So this must be... Lady Iris, I bring word from Ogar. The city is... Do I look like a scholar, Herald? <laughs> the lady's gone on alone. Easy for her, but... I'd best go with you to deliver your message. Lobber. Basic yeah. troop. Oh, he's got bombs. Okay. Where to? Uh -huh. So, classic RTS selection. Range and unit rolls. All human troops fight from a distance. Hover over a deployed troop to view its range. Each troop has its own role, strength, and weaknesses. Lobbers can resist some physical damage, but have a small attack range. Bowmen are fragile, but can attack enemies from afar. So the lobber is a bit tougher. Let's take them down from above. Oop, too late. Whoops. Different troops will fight better at different heights. Low ground units are good against target at similar heights to them. High ground units need higher ground to deliver their most effective blows. All units get attack bonuses at the right height. High ground units benefit from being 5 to 10 higher. Hovering on the diamond above a troop's portrait to see their preferred height. Hmm? So. Isn't that what this means too? High ground unit, increased critical yeah. chance, increased splash damage. Yeah. So these guys actually want to be on the same. Post me high. What? Uh, vertical. Yes. Area, oxygen. Yeah. They breathe oxygen. Huh? Right away. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Where to? Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Where are they? Oh, they're not gonna run around. They're not very smart, are they? Let's carry on. I guess they can't. Oh, they could run around that way, right? No. Hmm? On it. I take it these early enemies are not meant to be a significant challenge. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Can salvage stuff. Post me high. Cool. Building structures is critical. All building pieces can be selected from the building menu. Doing it. Let's start with wood pieces. Okay. Uh, rotate with RMB, build with LMB. You can hold shift and scroll wheel to cycle through recent pieces quickly. Hold and drag to build multiple pieces. Recover by recycling. You can recycle and rebuild as many times as you want. Oof, I love games like that. Let's get on with it. Um, what's the recycle hotkey? X. So I need a half arch to get across. It seems, and then one of these guys. There we go. And how do I escape? Mm -hmm. What a messy stairway. Looks like we're gonna have to rebuild it. Structures can be built out of wood and stone. Wood pieces are quick, cheap, and versatile, but not very resilient. They're ideal for, for reaching distant places quickly. Stone pieces are a lot stronger and ideal for building defenses, but are heavy and require more support. Piece can only be placed where it has enough support from below. If supporting pieces are destroyed, a structure may collapse. Combine wood and stone to get the most out of your structures. Interesting. Huh? Uh huh. Oh, so we got a lot more pieces here, and I'm supposed to get up. So how about a wood stairway there and there and there? I think that might be all, all we need. Stack stone pieces high to increase a wall's toughness. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hmm? 
on it. Whoops. Cool so far. I'm excited to see like how this turns into base defense. Almost there. The lady should be investigating those ruins. Who is this scholar? To go alone into places like this? I can hear horrors lurking ahead. Horrors. Switching attack modes. Ooh. Troops have two modes of attack. They can target the closest horror, or they can target the most dangerous horror. You can swap between these attack modes using a button on the troops action panel. Where to? Uh, there we go. So you'll go for deadliest, but you're yeah. the guy who's going to take yes. the hits. So you need Close to go behind. for the closest. Huh? Uh huh. Where to? I wonder what that green, what those green diamonds are. On it. Uh huh. Not totally sure. Oh, is that, um, yeah, that's the spots they have increased attack against, I think. I'm guessing that's what yeah, that is. Sense. Post me high, doing it. Uh huh. All right, where are we going? Right I don't away. know. Let's kill this thing before we I do anything else. Boom! Get that crit. I'll yes. leave you up here for a minute. I'm ready. Good. Let's kite him. Pull some aggro here. Wait, what happened? Right. Oh, what? Oh, he's stuck down there. I get it. Okay, well, that was not hard. Was he stuck down there, though? I guess they don't have... Either they're really, really, really dumb and they can't pathfind even a basic thing or they can't go up the same steepness of slope that my troops can. Good. Uh, I don't really oh, remember dude. what I just picked up either. Uh -huh. Which is kind of funny. Uh -huh. Like, can he climb up that? Yeah. Where to? Mm -hmm. On it. So we have lots of pieces now. And we need to get over to here. Which I think this will work. That should do it. Hmm? Uh huh. Do I win? There she is. Lady Iris, I bring an urgent request. Ogar expects an attack. The gates are. She listened to my message, or pretended to listen. It didn't matter. She knew what to do. If Ogar calls, we go. All right. We learned some things. Level statistics. Yeah, look at that score. 41,000 points. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I well, guess you can try to get a high story, score. It must be told from the beginning. This was our world. And then the Perlas appeared, and everything changed. They revealed a great secret to humanity, a great power, the Palido. We built ourselves a sublime domain. The Perlas glowed for us. Yet as time passed, we realized everything has a price. You all know what happened next, the Cataclysmo. drowned in mist and from this mist on pale legs emerged fresh horror the survivors ran they sought a new home scrambling to higher ground to save themselves that is how Ciudad Ogar was founded the city where we have been surviving for generations Sweet.
So it seems the horrors are indeed people. Or X, X people, I should say. Ogar. We made good time. The Solar Gate stands as firm as ever. But if the reports are true, the gate will be under attack soon. A special unit, born with a parala. She's one of the few living scholars able to perform arts, a cornerstone of humanity's defense. Or art our test. I don't know. The swarm is arriving from the south. Horrors are attracted to human settlements and attack frequently. Swarms attack every night, but scattered horrors can also sometimes attack in daylight. Generations of defenders have learned to anticipate the direction and force of incoming swarms by hovering over a red icon. You can see what kind is expected and how big the swarm will be. Oh, guardians, take defensive positions. Okay. So... Move to the marked position with your units. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't see that red thing. If your view becomes obstructed, you can apply camera filters. The night is nearly here. Oh, cool. Okay. Here comes night. Prepare to fight. Here they come. Every troop has a preferred height. Lady Iris doesn't have any high ground or low ground bonuses, but she'll learn special attacks as she grows in skill. What's her range? Can we see their range somewhere on here? And I'm wondering if these guys back here can shoot or not. It's kind of annoying that you can't click on them through the... Where to? Like, if you make it transparent, you kind of want to be able to click on units through the yes. transparent. I guess you can on that one. It's not doing it with the doorway, I guess. Hmm? So my curiosity is, can they attack from back there or not? Here they come. It seems like those two guys are not attacking. Oh, there he goes. That one's not. Now he is. Okay, is there a reason they're attacking the stairs? Seems like a weird... I guess they're really dumb. <laughs> cool. We'll fast forward this. Seems like it's gonna be an easy... Easy defense. We survived the night. Small for a swarm. And too easy. Lady Iris, no doubt the true swarm will arrive tonight. But with the small force we have. Looks then like we, we need more. Another defensive layer out there. Okay. More walls? It's true, we have plenty of stone, but Building stone defenses. Higher stone walls have more health and last longer under attack. The taller a wall, the tougher it is. This is called toughness, and it makes stone pieces essential defensive building blocks. When a stone structure's toughness increases, you will see its appearance change slightly. It can be increased up to three times. Let's make sure these new walls stand firm. Okay, will do. So you can see... Ah, there's the toughness. Went up a spot. Went up another. It said it... There we go, that's the maximum. Oh my gosh, 12 meter tall walls. That's awesome. All right, well, let's build these tall enough to get to the first level, which is four meters. Time is paused, structures won't collapse. You can modify structures this way to avoid rebuilding whole sections. That's nice. 
so I can remove stuff and then put in an archway. So can I do something like this? And then that, that's kind of cool. Or I could do the double door or single door allows units to path, pass through walls. Horrors are unable to use doors. Yeah, that's good. I would hope. I would hope that that's the case. Now, it also doesn't tell me, like, how dumb are the horrors? Do I need to... Do I need to, you know, wall off the entire area like this? It did kind of seem like they're stupid, and they will just attack whatever they see. It's a strong wall, Lady Scholar. But next to the Solar Gate, it's... Never mind. I'm not done. Tactical pieces are special pieces that provide benefits to nearby defenses or units. They each have different effects. Combining these in clever ways will help in your war against the horrors. Place your tactical pieces thoughtfully. Your units must stand next to one to gain its benefits. As you progress through the game, more will be added. Use them thoughtfully. Merlons. Merlons. Stone cover that boosts the range of any unit behind it also upgrades the toughness of any stone piece below it. Unfortunately... I didn't kind of spread my wall out at all. I don't have the ability for people to stand on top of it yet. Um, okay, hold on. Let me finish that. And then... I guess we need... A way for people to stand up here. Not enough stone. We're running out of pieces. Okay, now I need some stairs. All right, so there's some stairs to get up. What's that? Oh, just a double tall wood piece. Okay. You know, maybe I didn't need to build all this out of stone. That's what wood is for. That's what wood is for. Maybe I'll leave that stone. Oh, you just press shift once and it goes back. It's kind of weird. Like, pressing shift without scrolling cycles it. I don't know if I like that. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, that'll do it. Okay. I'm a bit concerned about this part of the wall. Oh, look at that. So that's interesting. The single one-by-ones even increase the toughness of the one by twos underneath them. Huh. So you could have like a one by four on the bottom with just a single stack of one by ones above it and that would increase the, the toughness, I think. Okay, let's build some Merlons here. And then we can... Oh, I need to place six. Now I can place the other three Merlons. The solar gate is adorned with banners too. Banners. Motivates nearby units and increases basic attack damage. So a good spot for that would be there. Looks like it works at least up or down one level. A pretty wall counts for nothing if no one is manning it. Let's go. All right, where are my archers at? Grouping units. Is it just control one? Yep. Classic RTS. 
Not enough resources. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of bombers. Right away. The night is nearly here. Wait, I'm not ready. And I think between the range boost and the banner, these guys are gonna be pretty good. Hmm? Control one. Yes. Control two. What? Can they have a range boost and a damage boost at the same time, I assume? Where to? It seems like it. Shows their bonuses up here. Increased attack damage. It looks like it's 25% for him. Yeah. Yeah, 25% damage boost. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Bring it on. Hundreds. Oh boy. Hundreds is a big number. But splash damage should help. It looks like those red pluses are areas that they can't attack due to the geometry. That's my guess. A swarm of horrors will attack when the red timer around the compass is full. Red icons also show the direction, expected enemy type, and numbers. So it looks like just the basic enemies, hundreds of them. Three sets of hundreds of them. So that's a lot. I wonder if I can just... Will these distract them? Kind of like, I don't know, decoys. The dark night. It's sunset. The swarm is here. Here we go. Oh yeah. Decoys are working. They feel the need to attack random pieces of stone standing in their way. Okay, that was not hundreds. That was like 30. Maybe 40. I feel like this game doesn't know what the word hundreds means. Maybe hundreds is the amount from all directions put together? Even then, I'm not sure if there was 200. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that coming. The archers can't attack on that side. Uh huh. A solid plan. Sweet. It's oh, I like this kind of game. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Strange. Our forest garrison should have felt the swarm. You think something happened to them? All I know is that the horrors have not been this close to the city in a long time. Forty-two thousand points. Given how many enemies I killed, I should have had a lot more points than last time. I had forty-one thousand points last time. That night, it is defended the city gates from the horrors of the mist. With her peers in the order, our sworn defenders. Yet, this was not the first time Ogar stood against its enemies. Thirty years before that night, while the order was once again fighting for their families, for all of us, a quiet sound began that would change our history. And when the Perla scholars opened their door, there she was. Between her tiny arms, a Perla embedded in her chest. You already know, a Perla is not a trivial thing. You could die just by touching one. And yet here was an infant with one of these things inside her. She'll die without us. She's a horror in disguise, I tell you. A horror. One looked on in silence, and when she stepped forward, all arguments ceased. She carries a pearl, yes, but also a book. Rectora Elena. She always seemed to understand things. Others could not. Do we not value knowledge? The child? The child is a beacon. Bring her in. 
call her Iris. Iris. So the scholars of the ivory adopted the girl as their own child. And she grew like any other. Slowly, but steadily. Always carrying her book, filled with stories from the past. But Iris was not any other child. As soon as the scholars allowed it, she became a chief defender of the city. And what does a good defender do when an attacker becomes too bold? She plays it smart. She goes in search of answers among the trees, beyond the walls. If we had known what she would come to face, Ciudad Hogar would have shut all doors and windows. And for the first time in centuries, Prayed. Dun dun dun. Sweet. Sweet introduction to the game. I'm impressed. Hmm. I see you've made yourself comfortable, Hermes. From the war table, Iris decides her next destination. Each castle figure marks an available mission. Click any mission to start it. Ooh, I like it. All right, bird brain. What say you to a ramble in the forest? I need to know what's going on. Bird brain. <laughs> Walk. Ah, we can pet the burb. Pet the burb. All right. So. Anything else I can click here? Not really. All right, time to go on a mission. All right, we did the tutorial missions. And now we shall go to the next tutorial mission. Settlement economy. Yeah, there's still a lot we have to learn to figure out this game. I'm a big fan so far. This has been really cool. I feel like there's a lot of novel takes on some old ideas. It's in tatters. I never thought this place would fall. What falls can rise, Harold. We need to get this settlement working again. Your citadel is your settlement's heart. It must not fall. It stores natural resources like wood, which you will need to build your fortress. Settlements need other buildings to grow. You cannot place buildings such as sawmills outside your citadel's territory. But pieces, such as stone bricks, can be built outside these limits. We shall need wood before all else. Wood is the foundation. Build sawmills close to trees. That's pretty obvious. Uh, creates workers that gather wood from nearby sources. Workers carry material. The more wood in its surroundings, the more will be gathered. The cost is 35. I presume that is time. 35 seconds and 75 oxygen. Yes. And so depending on where we put it, we may or may not get the full 15 wood per second or per minute. Sorry, per minute. Um, so I want it to be plentiful. So right there. Constructing this will take a moment. We should build some steps to the sawmill while it is underway. Uh-huh. Yep. All buildings need a clear path to the citadel. If the route to your citadel is obstructed, the building will be shut down and won't operate. So, we... What? Um... So yeah, we need some stairs here. So now, rather than having a certain number of pieces, each one has a cost in wood planks. That, obviously, it spins from my supply when I create it. Excellent. The workers are gathering wood now. Cool. Sawmills spawn workers that carry wood to the nearest storage area. For now, that's my citadel. Workers can collect resources more speedily if you build them shorter routes. We'll need somewhere for folk to live. We need citizens. You can build shacks and homesteads. Okay. 
Shack, basic housing that increases the number of citizens in a settlement can be placed on top of stone and other buildings. Okay. How many do I need? What do they cost? 30 wood. Buildings can be deconstructed by recycling. Freeze up any resource it is using and refund some of the resources. So you don't get full refunds on buildings, it seems. You can build on the flat surfaces atop other buildings or atop any structure made of stone pieces where there's enough room. So I could theoretically build one up here. I guess there's not enough room. Is that four by four? Pretty big. No, it's three by three. Is that not a three by three space? I guess that's only a two by two space. Oh, I need another shack. Whoops. Whoops. It told me to build three up in the quest there. All right, in that case, I'll build four. I'll do you one better. Well, there's also an eyedropper, so you can, with V, you can just copy something. 324. I'm curious how much they're actually carrying. The air here, it's stale with mist. They are carrying 15 apiece. Interesting. Okay, so we need oxygen. We cannot run out of breathable air. The Citadel generates a small amount, but you'll need to build air filters to increase the oxygen production. Air filters collect oxygen, but need height to work efficiently. Mist settles on land, so the air above is cleaner. So they need to be built on top of other buildings or stone columns. Interesting. It's interesting because this is higher than that, but it's not above the ground that it's next to, so it kind of needs to be, I guess, elevated. Huh, it's weird that that wouldn't work. All right, well, let's build. Can I build it on top of wood columns? No, needs more support. Well, I don't have stone pieces. So should I just build them on the houses, I guess? Oh, but they also need a path. I guess there is a two by two area on the back corner. Um, I don't really know. Where am I supposed to build this other one? It's kind of interesting. They want me to build. Oh, no, they only want me to build one. OK. I'm clearly paying attention. These few shacks are but the start. We have more work to do. But the day for us was nearly done. That means we're gonna get attacked. Uh huh. Hundreds. Ambush. They were waiting for sundown. Fight for your lives. Fight for your lives. Um. Okay. Let's actually think for a second. Is that all I have? Is you three? Hmm? Yep. That is all we have. Hmm. Um. Masks on. Let's. Let's get on top of this wall. I think that's probably for the best. Let's see, we need one taller. Okay, so that should let us get on top of the wall. I don't know if they can get over there or not. Yes, it looks like they can. Can they walk through the the Merlon? The valley, the, that's like, right. Could you walk over there? It looks like they can walk diagonally, maybe. Or like the wood steps allow access to the ones next to them as well. Not just the one in front of it, which kind of makes sense. That top step is connected. So. Yeah. Yes. 
That is a lot of them for my three defenders to handle. Um, interesting. The pallido shines. I'm going to send Let's them sense. back to there. We are needed. We will prevail. We're under attack. I feel like I need more people. This is not, not very many defenders for all this. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Did I lose? Too many. This this cannot be how it ends. Ah. I see it's intentional. It's intentional. We got Zerg rushed. Rectora Elena, I've been wondering, what would we do if one of our perlas got, I don't know, compromised? Would it be lost forever? That is a compelling question, little scholar. Our chroniclers say that in the lost reign, humans were able to fold the cloth of time itself for short periods. Mm. That way, even the most terrible mistakes could be undone. Of course, that Arte of the Palido was lost in the Cataclysmo. But with training, my little sage, I'm confident you will discover it again. Terrible mistakes undone? Ah, time anchor. A memory stirs. Iris is now able to use an Arte called Time Anchor. Hold time when needed. You can use it to return to the previous morning or simply a few moments ago. This is my only choice to stop this. I need to fold Whoa. time itself. That's crazy. Have I... Did it work? Did what work? I can't believe it. I'm back. A few hours before the attack, it looks like. Uh-huh. Cool. This is too much. We fell here. I... No. I cannot let this moment pass. Another chance. Another choice. We should gather some... Another trauma before. for you. Lady Iris, are you all right? I am fine. Stone, you... You say? Yes. We need stone and we need more archers. A lot more archers. Alright, move to the marked position. To defend a citadel, you need strong walls. And for strong walls, you need stone. Stone pieces such as tactical pieces also require minerals. To gather these, you'll need to find a stone or mineral deposit. I mean, I feel like we're at our wood cap, so we should work on building some stairs up to various places. So we can access all that. How high can you build these? Oh. It seems like you can build wood as tall as you want. You just can't build stone stuff on top of wood stuff. What if you have? Oh, I don't have stone yet. I was going to try something. Explore your surroundings for stone and minerals. Okay, yeah. We already figured that. We build a quarry here, it will gather stone for our walls. Okay. Spotted, but our territory doesn't reach that far. At least not yet. Where does our territory reach? Beacons. A beacon must be built inside existing territory. Can I see where my territory reaches? I guess I have to highlight this. Okay. Military cap. That's its oxygen production. Buildings and units consume oxygen, so we need to make sure to stay above that amount. Build beacons can attract uh, near nearby horrors. They're in the city building. Cost a little bit of oxygen. Okay. I'll build that right there. Uh, 
and then that'll probably unlock the ability to build the quarry. Come on, buddy. There we go. Our territory now extends to the stone deposit. Let's start gathering. Let's build a quarry to obtain a supply of stone and minerals. The efficiency of each quarry depends. Okay, so it's the same as the wood. Quarry can be 15 stone and 15 minerals up to a little pricier and it costs three citizens. I see. Whereas the wood does not. Sawmills are free. Okay, so it seems like right there we get five minerals and 15 stone. So that seems pretty good. How's my oxygen? Oxygen is quite fine, 156 a minute. But I could. Well, I need stone buildings before I can build more. Or I could build another shack, I guess. Why not? They don't tell me I can't, so I shall. So yeah, in this case, I also need stairs. Up to... This thing. That will do. Now let's rebuild those walls. Okay, let's do it. Destroying scenery pieces. Command troops to destroy scenery pieces by pressing T left mouse button on the target piece. And you want me to do that? Why? Oh, it's just telling me I can. Okay, it's not part of the instructions. But I could destroy some old walls if I didn't like where they were. But couldn't I just... Oh, you can't recycle scenery pieces. I see. Interesting. It is kind of annoying that that all counts as scenery, so I can't, like, modify it as I please. But that's fine. Um, oh, there's like a corner Merlon. There's an outer corner Merlon, and then this would be like a an inner corner, like a court, like like right here. And then I'd have archers all along that. That actually seems pretty good. Um. Interesting. Okay, so let's get a door, double door. And then we'll start building some walls. You know, if you build alternating like this and they kill that one, do they just stream in through the bottom? Do walls keep having an effect if they're half torn down? There's a lot of those types of questions. But we can at least get walls going. And then, oops, take that one out. We'll get some stairs here. I'm just gonna build this all so it's connected. Oh, you can build a spiral staircase like that. I see. I didn't really understand that that's how that worked, but it makes sense. Wait, oh, how did they do that? That's cool. Let's try that. How do you build a spiral staircase? So, oh, you can kind of build these guys on top of each other. So that one, and then that supports that one, and then this supports the next one. And you can spiral your way up. But apparently it runs out of support. Which I find interesting. So can I do that? And then keep going for a while? Yeah. And then how would I support this? I would need, I would need to like tower up here. 
So you you could, if you were smart about it, you could build a really tall spiral staircase there. All right. Now what I'd like to do. So we need to rebuild the walls. I'm going to rebuild these walls too, just in case. Bloop. And then just so that, you know, we have coverage over there and we have time to get troops over there if we need to. We're going to need some defensive positions. I guess one way to do the Merlon thing is like this. Or is that, you know, what's even smarter is we can overhang like that. And then we can do the Merlons along the top. And then the archers, I don't know, it, it does. I wonder if they can shoot straight down like that. Uh, we'll find out. I would like a staircase right here. Okay. So if I send you yes. I've got to here, where can he attack? It looks like they won't be able to attack straight down if I put him that way. Oh, there's also no stairs. So I guess that's a bad idea. It would, it would let them attack a little further, but... And now can they attack straight down? Mm -hmm. hmm. You can. Okay. It's a little weird how that works, because it very much feels like the Merlon should be in the way, but I guess they kind of lean out over it. So that's how that works. Alright, and now we need this wall. So... Indeed it is. Oh, and I'm out of stone. Survive the night. And I don't get any more units than this? That's pretty rough. Um, I guess I'll put Iris on one. Not enough stone. We are needed. The other two on the we'll other, because she's like a better bowman. I think I missed that that piece existed earlier. That's nice. All right, well, I've got walls. of medium toughness, at least. Sixty. Sixty health apiece. That has 150. Yeah, I don't totally understand how this all works. Alright, survive the night, huh? Not enough stone. That's probably going to be a pretty common message in this game. Alright. Here it comes. Oh wait, they're all coming from that side now? And it's only dozens? Oh, that's a lot easier. Where to? I'm on it. That's a lot easier than we were told last time. This is nothing. Spikes. I like the idea of spikes, that's cool. Alright, well that was easy. We won. But this was only a bite at our ankles. They're testing us. I wonder if you can repair you have no idea, Hogardian. walls repair somehow. Conflict. After surviving the first night, the whores know your location. During the day, the whores are not very active, but they will still make probing attacks. Keep watch at the walls. Hiding won't be enough to survive the night. We have to put up a fight. Uh-huh. I plan on it. It is the order of Ogar's duty to train men and women to defend against the horrors of the mist. So we need a barracks and we have a military capacity. You can set a rally point. 
all the classic RTS stuff. It costs 10, 10 troops and is quite a large building. Let's... I'm going to put that in the back here. And then... Can I build another one of these? Oh, I see. Too close, huh? I could build another one. It wouldn't give me very much, but I could do it. So let's not. Alright, I would like... Two lobbers. Improves range and line of sight for all units trained in the barracks. Ooh, that'll be nice. So you can do upgrades, too. I definitely like that upgrade. And then I'll do two bowmen. I'll set the rally point over here somewhere. And then I do think I want to set up... Oh, were those expensive units? What do they cost? A little bit of minerals. Mostly wood. Lobbers take two citizens. Interesting. Does that represent the one citizen who stays back and makes bombs? I wonder if that's kind of what that represents. And then I might need another oxygen collector. Which, now that I have stone... can do something like this. Increase your military capacity by doing research in the Citadel. Many other improvements can be researched. You can click on the building and inspect the panel at the bottom of the screen. Like, does the wood thing have a research? It looks like it does not. Do the oxygen ones. No. No. Okay. Beacon? No research. So it's mostly just the barracks. And then this gives us improved military capacity for the cost of five minerals and 25 wood and some oxygen. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then once I get some more stone, I can finish up some more oxygen production. And I think I'll build another shack here. Okay, traps. Traps are handy, but are destroyed after some use and you don't get resources back. So they're kind of just a one-time one-time use, but that is kind of what you'd expect. A good way to use some wood up, I guess. We can just cover this whole area in spikes. Should I build another sawmill? Hmm. You can't overlap, I guess. Low oxygen production. I'm working on it. I need more stone. Oh, no, I don't. I keep forgetting. I, I needed this stone. I don't need this stone. The, these can be wood. And I don't need two, two layers of it. It's going to take a minute for my brain to adjust to all these different things. But I can just do that to build an oxygen thing. Not enough wood. Except I need 48 wood now. Classic. Uh-oh. What happens if you run out of oxygen? Do units start dying? I'm curious. Cuz I need it yesterday. I guess I can remove this stuff to get a little closer. I need 48 wood. I should have built a second wood gatherer a long time ago. Are you serious? Ugh. Okay, it can be over here. So at least I can get my refund on that. I just didn't even think about the one down there being too close. 
Okay, there we go. Plentiful. Nice. So that'll be some good oxygenation for us. And then we need... Not enough wood. <laughs> of course. One... One staircase short. What can I remove? Is there anything I can destroy? Or recycle. Can I recycle one of these? No, those don't get money back. Ah, That's okay. They'll get there eventually. Come on, dude. Bring me that lumber. Your very oxygen depends on it. Okay, so our oxygen's good now. Phew. They ain't kidding around about oxygen. So that one makes 72. This one makes 144. Uh, and that one's 2 meters high, and this one's 4 meters high. So that does seem to be correlated. So maybe 5 meters is the optimal, because that was almost at its max. Which is interesting. And then I, w I would still like to build another sawmill. If we can. Yeah. We can build a sawmill up here. <laughs> and that'll bring in a lot of wood so we can build a lot more spikes. Is my thought. It is interesting they give you these stats, but not the range. But... The archers have quite a long range. Alright. Um, I still can get a bunch more military units. Um, let's just go with some more bowmen. One more. Our second sawmill should provide us with what we need for more bowmen. And then with the stone, we can establish a bunch of merlons over here as well, where we can just kind of make as big of a wall as we want. I guess I will do this to get a banner. What if I did this? There we go. Um, and then I can put two banners. So we've got damage boosts and range boosts for everybody along there. The pallido, we will prevail. Oh, they can't get there. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Huh? On my way. And they can attack pretty much this whole area, so that's good. Sweet. Hmm? I've got sweet, 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 sweet. We are beginning to create a real defensive position. And they still want me to build more spikes, so let's do that. Good. Those spikes will be useful. What else could we do to better our odds? We shouldn't neglect the surrounding wilds. There's always useful salvage mm. to be found out there. Salvage. You, go get that salvage. Mm -hmm. That's salvage, right? Can't tell what that is. Ah, that's salvage. What do we got? Mineral, stone, oxygen. Nice. Night is approaching. Skipping to the next attack. If you think you're ready, you can skip ahead to the moment they arrive. Uh, click trigger next wave to begin. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I will not, because I'd rather continue to collect my resources. Though I'm curious if it fast forwards your resource production. Let's find out. Get nope. Ready to battle. You lose Take you lose position. all the resources you would collect, so that's a pretty dangerous button to hit. But I think we can handle it, which is why I hit it. It's telling me low oxygen production. I guess we still need more. I think we'll be 
okay. Maybe I was... Maybe I was optimistic. Maybe I was optimistic. Hmm. We're under attack? Really? No, it can't be. However, could you tell? Okay, I think we're okay. They did break through. I gotta rebuild that. Exhausted. We survived! Yeah. We won. But that Arte, this folding of time, I feel. Lady Iris, take her quickly. Oh no. She did. Sweet. Okay, well, I, that is a perfect place to end this first episode of Let's Try Cataclysmo. Game is really awesome so far. I'd highly recommend it. fell unconscious after defending the forest garrison. Edith, who is coming? So she told them what she saw. A dream. Or a prophecy. Your Perla. You are attuned to the Palido in a way none of us are. Your vision is not to be ignored. The horrors will get worse. Perhaps it is time, Rectora. That we sought once again the Alta Pearl. The Alta Pearl? Don't talk of that poison chalice. It is what the girl saw. Fabled to be the primal source of the Palido. A way to stop the horrors. It lies buried with our ancestors. Even those of the Lost Reign could not master such a thing. There is a risk, yes. But... Rectora, if this... Alta Pearl gives us a chance to undo the Cataclysmo. We should seek it. Edis, I know you're not like the rest of us, but every expedition for the Alta Pearl has. They do not come back. They I did. I saw it. It is. calling me. Your scholar is right. I have to go. We better prepare our troops. Let's not be hasty. It's the best chance we have. It will be a death sentence. Enough. I've made a decision. It will be Edis's duty to travel through the old lands as our new expedition overseer. You will reach the Sea of Mist, and you will travel beyond it, beneath it, in search of the Alta Pearl. Edis, please be careful. Whatever you find out there, promise me you'll return. I will. The order avails. Wow. Sweet, sweet story so far. The exposition's impressive. I didn't expect that much of a story to already exist with an EA game like this. That, Hammers? I'm in charge of an expedition now. You'll have to listen to me. Anyway, we better prepare. Insight. Ah, you can unlock stuff. Cool. First things first. We need to found a settlement to gather ourselves. From there, we can push out. Cool. All right. Well, I think we'll call it an episode there, and I've definitely enjoyed this game a lot. Really sweet story, really sweet gameplay, mostly just you know still working through the tutorial stuff so i'm excited to see when the game opens up a bit what it what it feels like but i've been enjoying it a lot so far if you would like to um join the cridania discord there's a link in the about section we talk all about 
the games that I'm playing and other games that I play and there's a ton of people there a lot of fun if you're looking for a place to hang out online join the discord there's a link in the about section if you'd like to support me on patreon I would support that oh so much as a content creator um, patreon is the best way to support the creators that you like and um, if you feel like it's worth a few bucks then please join the support crew you get a special discord color and your name in the credits for different tiers and all sorts of things like the channel planning team where i mean you know this decision to play this game was based on a youtube poll but sometimes i will be um, talking with everybody in the channel planning team to figure out which game to play next so if you want to help influence that please consider joining the patreon and with that i'll just say leave a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for watching